Shelfworm is a web app that allows you to create a virtual bookshelf of books you've read based on information in your Goodreads account. I wanted to create Shelfworm because I believe a quick look at somebody's bookshelf can reveal a wealth of information about their personality, their interests, their values, and also serve as a fantastic way to discover new books. All of that is further compounded when you know what the person thought of each book by seeing their ratings and reviews. And while Goodreads has all of this information, they don't do a good enough job of presenting it or making it accessible, so I wanted to try my hand at something better. To create your own bookshelf, start by just logging in with your Goodreads account. You can then select a username, which will be the basis for your custom URL, for example, shelfworm.com slash berkjohn. In the background, Shelfworm is already downloading your book collection from Goodreads and beginning to populate the database. Then you're redirected to your new public bookshelf, which is accessible by anyone with the URL. Books are sorted first by your rating on a 1 to 5 scale, and then alphabetically, so all your favorite books will appear at the top. On Hover, you can see your own rating and review, along with additional information from Goodreads, such as the community average rating and a publisher description. Links to the books Goodreads and Amazon pages are at the bottom, and a few percent of every purchase on Amazon are used to help fund this site. Occasionally, Shelfworm won't be able to find a good book cover automatically, or you might just want to use a different one, in which case you can update it or delete the book entirely from the Details and Edit page. Here we're going to add a new cover to the Rubiat by Omar Khayyam and get rid of the placeholder from Goodreads. When you make new additions or changes to your books on Goodreads, simply click the Update from Goodreads button at the top of the page and the new information will be loaded into your bookshelf. This will not, however, overwrite any covers that you have personally assigned to a book through the previous page. This app is primarily written in Ruby using the Sinatra web framework. Hover effects are created with pure CSS and infinite scrolling is achieved with custom JavaScript and Ajax. All styling is done by hand. In addition to the Goodreads API, which uses OAuth 1.0 for authentication, I also use Open Library and Library Thing APIs to source alternative book covers. The app then selects the highest resolution image from these three sources and saves its URL to a Postgres database on Heroku. Because it can take up to several minutes to fully import a user's bookshelf, I use Redis and Rescue to offload most of this work to a background job queue. Thanks to infinite scrolling in this background job, a user can start to view their bookshelf almost immediately without even realizing the rest of their books are still being imported.